Hello, this is Carol. This is the last part of doing sublimation. Um, I wanted to teach you or show you what I did so that you could um, easily start your business. It's just as simple as that. It, it's, it's not anything hard or long or drawn out. Once you watch and learn, that's it. And the last part I wanted to talk to you about was when you bought a heat press or the printers that you buy. Um, these were the ones that I bought in the beginning. But as you progress in your business, you're going to need larger, a larger printer and a larger heat press. But don't get me wrong. These I have are just fine. Now, these two printers, they print 8.5 by 11. But what I really would like to get up to is bigger designs, uh, such as 13 by 19. So if you have plans on going a bit deeper in this sublimation business, then I suggest in the beginning, you get the Echo Tank 15,000. The Echo Tank 15,000 is going to be your max and it's going to be the best for your business. Don't get me wrong, the 2720 and the 2800 I do have, and they've done a great job for me so far. Um, there is another video that I will put out later where you could actually use your 2720 or 2800 to make larger size prints. You're just going to have to put two eight and a half by 11s together. That's all that is. So the heat press, I want to say this, it's the 12 by 15. In the long run, you are going to want the 16 by 20 or even a little bit larger than that. You're going to want that for the larger size shirts or the larger load that you'll have in business that you will have. I'm going to speak that. So think about that when you first buy your heat press or your printers. Make sure it's what you really want, the sizes. Okay? Have a good day and be blessed. And as always, your success, your business is going to be great.